even mean to move to Germany. I had just quit drinking and decided to start again. I sold all of my things and moved in the middle of nowhere, Alaska to figure things out. I saved a ton of money and decided to do a solo trip around the world. And I landed in Paris. I arrived at my hostel, but they didn't have my reservation and all the beds were full. So I had to go to the closest hostel nearby. And that's where I met my German. On the dance floor at the hostel in Paris. He asked me to visit him. It was supposed to be three days. It ended up being two weeks. I left for Spain and then Southeast Asia and I didn't know what the hell I was gonna do. Walking down the street in Thailand in front of a school, children came running up to the gate yelling, teacher, teacher. They all started counting one, two, three, and they were so proud. They were so excited and so proud. I thought to myself, I want that. I want to be a part of that. So I got my teaching certificate, moved to Germany, became a freelancer, started my own tutoring business, and then I got my first teaching job at an international school. And then I ended up becoming a content creator. And in May, my husband and I will be married five years. I've realized now that the best things that have ever happened to me happened to me when I was feeling lost.